answered. Marco Rubio had big momentum heading into this weekend, but his debate performance raised questions providing ammunition to his rivals. I was telling him all week that, that you know, he's scripted and he's not spontaneous and he doesn't, you know, he's not a leader. No apologies from Rubio for repeating the same attack on Obama verbatim several times during the debate and no backing down on the trail. We still have time to get this right, but we're running out of time. 2016 is our last and best chance. I talked with those presidential candidates, and one of them was Chris Christie yesterday. Red Bear, how are you? How are you? So what's the feeling? The feeling is a lot of energy, a lot of electricity. Crowds have been really big today, um, and all anybody's talking about is the debate. That's all anybody wants to talk to me about. So um, we did what we needed to do last night, and we're going to try to do what we need to do on Tuesday. So you don't think it's a double-edged sword when you go on the attack? That you don't No, because listen, I Red, I went on I, I I didn't go on the attack. I showed people the difference between me and Marco Rubio. It's not an attack. And I didn't say anything last night to Senator Rubio that wasn't fair that I haven't said before. Um, but I did it in front of millions of people last night in a very, very important forum. And uh, believe me, I know what attacks are, and so do you. And that wasn't an attack, okay? In Jersey we would just call that a hello and how are you? Okay. <laughs> we'll see the attacks later, Brett. Thank you. Thank you.